Hey everyone, Techni here, and what we're going to review today is the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition headset. So anyways, let's crack open the Kraken. So now what I'd like to do is show you the Razer software, the Razer Synapse software for the uh, headset where you adjust EQ and all the sounds and all that stuff. And while I'm doing this uh, demo of the software, I will be using the mic on the headset just so you can see how that sounds. So anyways, let's go on and get into it. We're going to click on our headset right here. And right here, it's going to tell you right off the bat, keep all your volumes at max while you're adjusting all this stuff, just so you'll get that balance. And while you, when you turn up your volumes, whether it be here or over here you'll get a beep in the headset to know that you are at max all right so we'll go into mixer here and as you see you got your thx uh option right here which you can adjust this on the headset what i just did right there the little dongle or off or you just click on it here with your mouse and what you'll be able to do is adjust every angle of the uh, surround sound that's going to your headset which is kind of cool but if you all have watched any of my uh, previous headset reviews or anything, I just cannot stand fake surround sound. I love THX when you have true TX, THX playing, you know, but uh, on a headset, I think it sounds incredibly ridiculous. It brings all the highs to max, and it just creates a massive echo. So, uh, and the cool thing about this software, other thing, though, is a um, little question mark up here will tell you what every little thing is, and it just kind of breaks it down for you so it's super nice a again here as you can see for the uh, sound normalization and what it does there for you voice clarity and what it does so it's pretty nice nice little helpful uh, tips up there now when you get over here to the eq settings straight out the box this can be set to default and honestly if you don't get on the software if you just take it out the box and plug it straight into your computer or, or whatever it may be you're going to be extremely disappointed i mean it sounds horrible it is so bad um you can click over here to game and it's fairly decent. I'd recommend, again, you getting into custom and just finding what's right for you. All right, so now over here you have the microphone. And you have your microphone volume, your sensitivity, your side tone, and then just some uh, enhancements for your uh, microphone. Now, the majority of this stuff, I mean, you can adjust the uh, game to voice chat volume on the uh, dongle on the headset as well. But the majority of this stuff you will be adjusting within your uh, chat program or app that you're using right whether it be discord or the xbox one or whatever it may be right i want to talk about a couple quick things here and you've seen most of this in the uh, pictures in the beginning of the video but I just want to point a couple things out i love the design of this and all this that you see going around here and the grates as well and then up to the arm as well as what the arm goes into right here all of that is metal right there so it's pretty solid really really solid build now after the arm goes up into here like say if i pull it all the way out I can push down and feel where the arm stops and goes. So what is in here holding it together? Is it more metal? I can't tell. I mean, it flexes really easy. So durability, I, I don't know. At the, the exterior metal parts, like I said, it feels extremely strong and durable. But once you get up in here into the arm and you feel it go out, where you can squeeze down and feel the space in there now, I do not know what's holding that together. So one other thing I really like as well is the mic, how it goes in here. Then you can just pull it out. I mean, really nice like that, and really nice flex in it. It's not too long, and it just it flexes perfectly, and it stays right there. I mean, you can get a dang swivel on it, and it stays perfectly right. Now, when you put it in, it does not mute. You still have to mute it either by the inline switch on the uh, cable, or if you're using it on PC, you can use this uh, dongle right there to mute your mic at the bottom. And when you do mute it, it lights up red so you know it is muted. So that's super cool. You know, I, I, I prefer it on the wire or on a dongle rather than it being a flip up or something like that. Just so I have the, uh, it kind of reminds me. 
One other thing that I really like as well, and I'm not sure if you can see it too well here, but uh, you might have to go back to those clips in the beginning to really see it. But outside you have that pleather, and then right here you have like that sports uh, silky stuff, like the headbands or sports shirts are made out of, right? And then in here you have that pleather again, so it locks the sound in. So the, you don't got that pleather touching your ears to get you all sweaty and hot, right? It's just on the outside and the inside to trap the sound from bleeding out. But um, like I said, that fabric right there is really nice. Now the headband up here, um, in the pictures online and everything, it looked pretty plush and quite big. But honestly, when I took it out of the box and lifted it out, it's like there is minimal cushion right there. I don't know if that's even going to justify it right there that you're seeing on the camera, but it's very, very little. I mean, it's just like you press in and bam, you're right there. All right, so let me give you my conclusion on this headset. Now, I picked this up on sale. I believe it was 75 bucks, right? So kind of mid-range headset. Um, and I was really excited to test it out. As you all seen in our uh, Hunt for the Perfect Gaming Mouse, we, it ended up being the Razer uh, Death Adder Elite, which was um, extremely awesome. So I was just really excited to try some more Razer products. You know, I've never tried a Razer headset, mainly because all their ear cups um, were leather lined, and I can't stand headsets that are uh, all the pleather on the outside. It just makes my ears too hot. I prefer the cloth. So when I saw these guys, I said, Wow, I, I, I got to give these guys a shot, you know. I watched a few reviews, so I was a metal build and all that. Um, so, I was, anyways, I was extremely excited. So, I get them out of the box, and number one, I put them on just to feel the comfort, right? And I got to be honest, and th again, this is going to be different with everybody's head shape and everything, but these things are not comfortable. I mean, they're, they're not comfortable. Like, there's, and why that is, there's no flex like you see me moving them like that right now, that's me bending it, right? It's not gonna do that on your head. That's me actually putting some force in there to bend it. Do travel in the earphone, let me show you, is just that. It's very minimal right there, but it doesn't go in and out at all, right? So when you put it on your head, I don't know if you can see, when you put it on your head, it clamps right here, like kind of jawbone-ish whatever right here but on the back it doesn't go towards the back so all the pressure is pressing on the front part here now i think as far as headset comfort i think that's going to go a lot same with like mice right it's going to be different per your hand or per your uh per head shape and everything but honestly like these guys i was testing it out with some games and just testing out some sound um with the music and whatnot and they were so uncomfortable i had to take them off they just like again they just press so far up here and it's just really just started to hurt and get annoying after a while that I had to take them off. And I'm talking within like maybe an hour, probably less than an hour, honestly, maybe 30, 45 minutes. Now, again, how I stated the comfort could vary per person, what I'd compare these two, but I might say they're a little bit worse. And this is where a lot of you might be like, oh, hey, well, they're pretty nice because I know a lot of people love them. And that's the HyperX, right? I couldn't wear the HyperX because, again, they didn't have any flex like this. And with me wearing glasses and stuff, again, they press too far up here and they wouldn't go towards the back. Um, the HyperX, I don't know, maybe because the ear cushions were, are a little bit smaller. Like, these are some pretty big ear cushions. So the HyperX were a little bit smaller, so I didn't feel it as much. And I could wear the HyperX, you know, even though they weren't extremely comfortable. I could wear them. Um, but these are, for me at least, were unbearable. Again, I had to take them off. They were so uncomfortable. And why I think that is, is because the ear cups are much larger... So you, you feel that other pressure right there. All right, so now that we covered comfort, let's go ahead and talk about sound. And honestly, straight out of the box, like we talked about before in the software, it's set on that uh, default, which is all flat. It's horrible. Like you're, you're, you're gonna wanna take these things off and throw them in, uh, at the window, right? It's, it's just absolutely horrible. So anyways, you get into the EQ set, and you set it onto the uh, game, and it's it's fairly decent i guess i had to get in there and adjust my eq which i think nowadays that's pretty much with every headset right usually if you have a headset where you don't have the eq adjust it's kind of i might have used two headsets that didn't have an eq adjustment and i could actually deal with the sound but the majority of them you hope you got an eq setting where you can get in there and get your comfortable sound which again will be different for everybody i believe but anyways these guys i got in there and started adjusting it and tweaking it this and the other and i could not find a good balance for these guys it constantly sounded muddy and it constantly sounded hollow i don't know if they were trying to enhance that bass or something i don't know because you have the bass to adjust on the uh, dongle as we showed earlier 
And when you crank the bass up, like, wow, it is so bad. It is just, no matter what the EQ setting was on or anything, like when you crank that bass up, the bass is just ridiculously bad, extremely muddy. But again, all around, the sound was just, for the price, again, if we're talking mid-range headset here, and I've used Astros, I'm A50s, I'm currently using the Corsair Void Pro, which you can see my other review, I'll leave a link down there for you. And I'm really happy with those. I picked those up for 50 bucks, regular MSRP is the sale price I got for these. And I would highly recommend the Corsair Void Pros over these guys in a heartbeat as far as comfort. Um, I'd say they're on par with build, you know, but um, the sound in those guys just blows these away. It's more crystal clear. It's more that true sound. Like, again, these sound very muddy. Like, they're just trying to put more into them that there should be. Now, if you want a comparison that I can compare these two that I think most people would be able to relate to, and I'd relate these two old Turtle Beach headsets, right? Not the new ones, because I really like some of their new Atlas headsets i really love those i feel like they're pretty balanced and pretty comfortable and everything but um as far as the old turtle beach headsets i put the, the sound of these obviously the build of these is better than the old turtle beaches right um but the sound of these sounds just like the old turtle beaches where it's just muddy and they're just trying to overdo the bass a squeeze here you know and it's not good solid bass it's just muddy bass and i think that's exactly how these sound well, now that I turned you off on the two main things of the headset is comfort and sound. I don't even know if I should continue talking about anything else. But what I want to talk about here is the dongle. And this thing's pretty cool. You can read a lot of reviews where people say it's pretty chintzy. Um, I don't, I, it feels like a remote, like a regular TV remote, right? And you got your bass adjust over here, up and down, spring lows back in there. Um, game to chat volume knob over here and volume up and down and then mic mute. And when you hit the mute button, it will light up red for you so you know it is muted. Again, all of that is over here on the inline switch. Well, not all of that. You have your volume control, just basic volume, and then your mic mute, which that is all you can use on PlayStation, by the way. So you can plug it into the PlayStation via USB, but this dongle, the THX, will not work, and you can't use any of the settings on this on a console, okay? So again, you can plug it into USB into your console, but this will not work. You'll still have to use this. So instead of having this USB running all the way to your console, you might as well just plug this right into your controller because these are the only thing you're going to be able to control anyways, which is the volume of your game and the mic on and off, mute on and off. And the sound is the exact same. If you plug it in with USB to the console or just to the uh, controller with the 3.5, it sounds the exact same. There's no difference in sound whatsoever. Now, as far as the THX on this headset, it sounds just like every other fake surround sound on a headset, right? Um, I think, I don't know if this is Razer is trying to get a one up on other people because, you know, they got the Dolby Atmos on a lot of other headsets. So they're trying to get that THX, which me personally, I love THX. I'll take THX all day long, like true THX. THX. If you're watching on like a movie or something, just you catch that intro, you crank that up, like, I mean, you're not going to sound much better than that, right? But again, on this headset, you don't get that true THX. It doesn't sound like that. It's just, it again, it does the same as every other one. It raises the highs and just makes everything sound distant. It, it echoey and everything. It sounds horrible. Um, one little cool thing on the back of this little dongle, I don't know if you can see right there. There you go. You can see it a bit. Um, you can pull this little uh, peely pad up here. And it's extremely sticky. So if you want to just slap this guy down on your desk somewhere or something, like kind of right there in front of you, it'll it'll stick there and actually stay, which is really cool. You can have it kind of on the fly right there, mic mute or your volume adjustments. You can just slap it right there, again, wherever you please, and it'll actually stay, which is super cool. All right, so all in all, my opinion on the uh, Razer Kraken Tournament Edition, I got to say pass. Um, regular MSRP 99, I got them on sale for 75. So let's go on and base it on my sale price, the 75. And again, at that $75 price range, I think you can find a lot better headset than this guy. And again, I'm going to point back to the Corsair Void Pro, which I did the review of. I'll leave the link down there so you can check that one out as well. But again, at that price, I think you're going to find a lot better headset than this guy. Like it's just like right now, me just wearing like, I want to take them off. I just want to take them off. They just, they're seriously starting to hurt right there. And that's just, I had them on, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. And I just start to feel them pressing right there. It's just so uncomfortable. 
Now, I really hate being a negative Nelly in my video, so don't take it as I'm trying to bash Razer by any means. Again, I was extremely excited to try this uh, headset out, right? As you can tell with our winning mouse, the uh, Death Adder, um, go ahead and enter the uh, giveaway while you're at it. But um, I was extremely excited to try it out, and I really wanted them to work. Like I said, I love the design. It's super cool. No crazy lights on it or anything like that. Just a solid, just straight, classic-looking quality design, you know what I mean? But in the two key parts, um, comfort and sound, it was a complete bust. Like, I can't even say anything was good about it. And again, I tested it on the PlayStation and the PC as well. And it, it wasn't the worst. Let me say that. It wasn't the worst I've ever heard. All right. So don't think I'm saying that. Like, this is absolute trash. It's not absolute trash. What I'm saying is at that price range, you can get a lot better. I wouldn't recommend these at the price range. Let's say they go to 50 bucks. You can find it for 49. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be so negative, but I can't recommend these. I'm sorry. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for some future videos. Hey, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.